Okay, hello world. Um, this is about replacing a fuel pump on a 1999 Dodge Ram 2500 5.9 liter Cummins turbo diesel. Uh, this is the motor 204AB on the valve cover there. Um, anyways, this is the original one. This is from 2004. The dealership put in this fuel pump. Um, and this is the one that I got from O'Reilly Auto Parts. Um, precision fuel pumps. Um, let me get the part number here for you guys. So, um, it looks like the right one. Um, there's no part. There's a part number on the box. E16018. There's also an E7153 and smaller under that. Made in USA. Precision fuel pumps. Um, so, I'm happy that it's made in USA, that's cool. Um, it looks identical to the, the dealership one. Uh, the dealership does not even sell these pumps anymore. They want to put the fuel pump in the tank and charge me like 12, 1300 bucks, you know? So this pump cost me $159.99. Um, and I got a new fuel filter which goes in here. Um, and a wrench. You're going to need a 17 millimeter wrench that looks like this that has a ratcheting open end wrench part on it because there's a fitting that's like this one. I think they call them a bayonet. Um, and it goes on the outlet side. The hard line goes up here and goes hard lines right here. Um, and it goes down right here. Uh, fuel pump location is right here. I got a light, a drop light down in here so uh, I got a clamp light with a bulb on it. I don't know if you can see it but anyways just got a bulb so I can get some light. But anyways the fuel filter is right here where my left hand is with the two wires coming out of it. This is your fuel filter. Um, I'm gathering these are bleeds. I don't know. I'm not a diesel guy. I'm an old Chevy 350 small block guy so this is a little, I'm a little out of my comfort zone but um, Dealership wants 1200 bucks, and I got this pump for 160 bucks, so um, I'm trying to do it myself, anyways. Um, so I metered. There's a little electrical wire that comes into the bottom of the pump. A little pigtail comes off of here, goes in the bottom of the pump, right in here, in this spot right here. Um, you push the little thing down and then pull it out. Um, this one, these ones, you push the two blue things uh, together. You push, this is the hose that comes, this is the inlet hose, rubber hose with a, and you push the blue things together here and pull the black part of it back um, and slide it off. Um, like I said, these connections are both 17 millimeter on, that's the inlet, and this is the outlet side of the pump. Um, it's right above the starter. So I'm doing it from the top here pretty easily, I think. Everything looks pretty good. Um, don't think you could do it from the bottom. So um, anyhow, uh, so anyhow, this is what the old pump looks like. And this is the new pump. They look identical. Um, I'm pretty happy here. So uh, they give you all the good stuff in the package. The new bayonet little gasket thingies. They give you the pigtail the old pigtail. Let me see right here. I don't know if it might be better to do this video in here. There we go. This is I'm doing this at night. So anyhow, this is the old pigtail and this went onto that one that I showed you. And then this is the end that plugged into the pump. So I'll show you out here. This goes this goes into here. Right here. This let me see if I can do this. Anyways, this has a little this has a little push down part on it. Um, this pushes down right here in the middle here. So that pushes down and goes. You just push it in and it clicks in, and you push down on this little part of it. Can't see. Anyways, I'll show you inside the thing and just pull it out. Push down and 
pull it out. Let me see here. Um, <coughs> so anyways, you push down on this part. Oh, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Let's see what we do here. Um, doesn't look clear, but you push down on that part. I'm going to zoom back out. Looks. There we go. I think that might clear up. Anyways, you push down on that part there. And I metered the holes. You can see the push-in parts. So the one on the left was the positive. I used a test light. And you have to bump the starter to make it uh, have power there. Unless you do it the first try. If you turn the key on, obviously it energizes the fuel pump. But then it like stops after like a minute or so or something. So to check if there's power on these holes, I had my buddy sit in the truck. And you bump the starter once and then it re-energizes that hole. So that's what I learned off this other YouTube video. There's another YouTube video up here that only one other one that I saw from another auto parts manufacturer. And that one has a lot of good information on that one. So between my video and that video, you should be good to go. Um, you got to be pretty kind of mechanically inclined though to do this stuff. Obviously, if you're any kind of a technician or a you know, a mechanically inclined guy, you should be able to handle this one. It's not on a scale of one to ten. It seems like it's probably about a six. You know, five or five between a five and a seven. It's not terribly difficult. Um, but anyways, they give you the new pigtail to push into the thing. You push, pull this apart, obviously. One goes on the other end, one that goes on one end. And the little uh, gasket washers for the things that... Um, they call them bayonet things, I think. I don't know. I don't deal with, like, uh, what these things are. They're whatever this is. If somebody knows what it's called, if I'm calling it right thing, that's it. But anyways, it's this with a little gasket and then a hard line pipe with a circle in it and then a gasket goes on this side so you go gasket put a gasket here hard line pipe in the middle and a gasket here little round little black gaskets they stuck to the old pump so uh, there you can see the little black gasket probably on there um, so anyways but like I said the only special tool I needed was a 17 millimeter um, and that worked out real well, and just, uh, undo, there's three bolts, you know, on the top it's pretty self-explanatory, another little bolt over here, and this is the 17 millimeter, and there's one on the bottom, these, uh, these two nuts right here, or bayonet fuel fittings, anyways, they have gasket on either side, so anyways, you just loosen the right one, I loosened the right one, um, and uh, so anyhow, and I will probably pull this off and replace the gaskets so when I tighten everything down, hopefully everything's good. So anyhow, that's pretty much it. You just uh, change it out. So anyhow, uh, thanks for watching.